Hello and happy Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It is so nice to see you all. I hope everybody is having a good start to their day. For those new to the channel, I am Stephanie. It is so nice to meet you. We are so happy to have you here. Today I'm going to be talking about um, a painting product I used on this baby and let you guys know about how I feel, what my thoughts are about it, my opinions on this certain painting product. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and click that notification bell so you never miss any content from us. All right, so many of you are aware, but there might be many of you who are not aware. So let's talk about this. Uh, Genesis Heat Set Paint stopped producing paint for who knows what reason. I don't really know. I don't know if anybody really knows. This company right here, Genesis Heat Set Paints, uh, they stopped making Genesis Artist Colors, to put it correctly. Genesis Artist Colors Heat Set Artist Oils is what it's called. For some reason, they're no longer producing product, which sent all the reborn artists up in like a chaotic, what am I gonna do kind of thing. Thankfully, I still have Genesis Heat Set Paint on hand, but what a lot of people have run out of is varnish. Here's this. Normally it would say a uh, thinning medium right there, but the oils have ate away the uh, label, the words right there. But So everybody ran out of this. Thankfully, I still have some. However, I have been preparing for the moment when I run out of it, so I've been trying different varnishes. The first varnish I tried was this Kabuka thinning medium. Um, it's definitely a product I don't recommend. But I do recommend at the same time, if you have nothing, this is something you'll want to use. Now, why might I recommend it? Well, because if you have nothing, this product, it does work. The issue I had with that product is it's very oily, and I swear I had to cook it 10 times at 265 degrees for 6 minutes. So, it takes some time, but eventually it will cure. Recently, I saw in Irresistibles that she had a heat set varnish. At first, I thought it was a Genesis heat set varnish, but come to find out, it's her own heat set varnish, and I was like, well, let's give it a try. I need to try it to see if it works. If it works, I'm gonna let people know. This right here is Irresistibles Reborn Heat Set Paint. Now, the varnish does look a little different than Genesis. It reminds me of Mod Podge, and in a way, it slightly smells like it, but it's not the same thing. To be honest, I have no idea what's in here, but it works. I got the thinning medium version because she does have a few different versions. And let me tell you what, it is one of the best varnishes I have ever used. And no, Irresistibles is not paying me to say this. They did not pay for my product. I am just letting you know my personal experience. So at first how I used it, I was just painting it straight out of the jar onto the doll and then dabbing it off with my brush how I do it. And Jackie was like, you should try mixing thinner in there. And I was like, I don't really know how it's going to work. But then I noticed I was using more product than I wanted to use. And like it gives texture to the doll. It's really fantastic, but it's giving a little more texture than I wanted. And the filling of the product. Oh my god, we'll get into that next. But back to how I was applying it. So first just dipping in like this and then I was just painting it straight on the doll. So then what I did is I decided to take the lid and I took a scoop out of here and then put just about equal parts of thinner, mixed it together and then painted it on the doll and then pounced it off with my, I like blended it, pounced it. You know you guys have seen me where I pounced it on the limb after I put on the varnish. And I, uh did that and it was just it gave the right amount of texture I wanted and it was just beautiful and it applied beautiful. I'm gonna paint this on here to show you guys what I'm talking about so see I just paint it on there like so and then you'll just paint the area that you're working in and I like to do just sections so I see I've added my varnish there you can see it's applied then now with my uh, mop brush I'm gonna pounce on here. That's what I do to just smooth it out, make sure I have no lines. It's not really smooth, it's just kind of, I don't know, texturizing it, getting any excess off there. And you can see the texture, you see that right there? 
Look at that, looks nice. Texture right there. See that? It's a little hair right there. Come on, get off of there. Okay. See, look at the texture. Oh, how do we got some red paint in there for my brush? Oh my gosh, I need to clean my brush. But uh, anywho, my brush got some red paint on there, but you see that? You see the texture? It looks so nice. Look at that. Just so nice. Not only is the texture beautiful, but this varnish feels like no varnish I've ever felt before. So those who have touched silicone dolls, you know that it has like a powdery, kind of velvety feeling. Well, this varnish feels like your doll has like a velvet-like feeling. It feels kind of similar to how silicone feels if you were to just rub your hand across silicone. It feels very similar in my opinion. It's wicked soft. It's actually my favorite varnish. I'm so happy I tried it because I love the way it makes the dolls feel. It just feels like skin. It feels like skin. So with this, what I have found is that I bake it for 265 degrees for six minutes and I bake it three times and it is fully cured. So my next concern was this kit feels amazing. It feels like velvet. Now, how is paint going to sit on it? Let me tell you what. It picks up paint super quick. So, um, you may have to use less pigments. I noticed on my mottling wash, I had to pull back on my pigments in there because it like, it sticks. It's like, it just like absorbs it. It's fantastic. So it painted beautifully. I have a newborn reborn I'm gonna show you guys that I recently finished and the varnish was using the var uh, Irresistibles varnish. Remember I said we would be back to her? Well, she's the baby that I painted using this varnish. This is the Quinlan kit and she was recently adopted by a first time reborn mom. She contacted me and is like, I want one of your next babies coming out. Can I please see photos? I don't want to miss out. And this is a baby that she adopted. So congratulations to her. Again, I'm using my camera. You're not gonna see her details the best, but I cannot wait to take her photos with my professional camera. But for the meantime, I'm hoping that you guys can see her. She looks fantastic and she feels amazing. And look at that, look at the, look at the texture. Look at that freaking texture. So if you just, uh, you can get many different textures with it depending upon how much thinner you add into the mix. If, if you add no thinner, the more texture you get, less thinner, you know, the less texture you get. But uh, amazing. So I like both ways. I like painting it straight out of the bottle, the jar. You see that texture right there? It's harder to capture on camera. This is using the thinner. So I personally like the texture without the thinner. Better because you get more texture, but if you want your product to go further, you'll have less texture like the belly plate. The belly plate has a nice texture, but it's less texture but the product will go a little bit further. So honestly, the choice is really up to you. Just look at that on the forehead. So I think I'm gonna be painting straight from out of the container because I like the amount of texture it gives. And it was easy to paint on. It didn't like make my work look um, like, you couldn't see the brush strokes or anything. It didn't look weird because of all the texture. It blended really nicely. Look at that texture on her cheek. Oh my gosh, so nice. But yeah, so I am very happy with that varnish. Here's a leg of Sebi I just started on and this one has the thinner mixed into the varnish which the texture is very soft and uh, subtle so it's not like the Quinlan kit, but like I said, I prefer the texture on the Quinlan kit, so I think I'm just gonna be painting straight out of the jar because I really like how it gives it the skin texture. But the paint sticks very well to the varnish. So if you normally let your colors sit because you want the pigment to sit before uh, blotting it off because sometimes it gets too light, well, don't let them sit as long as you normally do because you might be scrubbing those veins off. I had forgot about a limb and then I went back and I was like, oh my gosh, they're like stuck on there. So I pretty much had to use thinner to get the veins off. And with Genesis heat set varnish, I would have been able to just rub it off quickly. So this varnish grabs the paint very nicely. 
So if you need a varnish, I recommend Irresistibles. I think you will enjoy it just as much as I do. I hope you guys found this video useful and those who are struggling trying to figure out what varnish they are going to use, I hope this has answered some questions for you and gives you hope because there was many reborn artists who thought they might have to quit the hobby. But you don't, we just had to find a varnish that works and Irresistible seems to have a pretty awesome varnish right now. Remember to stay safe, stay positive guys and don't give in to any negativity and we will be back soon. Love you so much, bye.